from AliExpress. Yes, another cheap product for dollar and sixteen cents. You can get DC to DC USB boost power regulator, five volts to three point three volts, nine volts, twelve, twenty four volts desktop power module. It says that it's very easy to use. Plug in the USB or micro USB, and you can output from one point two volts to maximum twenty four volts adjustable voltage. Using this adjustable potentiometer, clockwise increase or, or decrease. All right, and I got it. Here it is. Before I start to review this module. I want to say big thanks and welcome to my new subscribers, 10,000 new subscribers. Thank you for that. And if you like this kind of videos, just give a like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, to mention uh, thanks for all the comments that I got on the videos, and you can see I reply to almost every comment I get on the videos. Again, thank you very much, and I'm gonna give a feedback to all of you. Okay, let's review this module, which is DC to DC booster that can boost the voltage from, it says here, here, from 3.5 volts to 12 volts to 1.2 volts to 24 volts. Okay, this, that is good. You all also have here points where you can solder voltage input but this module have USB mail connector and we're gonna power it through that or you can use it the micro USB connector this is multi-turn potentiometer for adjusting the voltage we have the vo the voltmeter right here one switch for turning on and off and you have output on this connector also to mention that this DC to DC booster that can co convert from 5 volts to let's say to 12 volts or 24 volts you can use as a emergency power supply for your wireless router maybe you can make your own backup power source for wireless router that is a nice idea okay let's power up here I have a 5 volt USB connector plug in and it says that it's giving 12.5 volts and the maximum is 24 let's test first 13 14 15 18 20 whoa 23 25 25.5 volts we get on output. I'm gonna measure that with my multimeter. Okay. Here we have 25.5. Let's measure that. 25.7. Whoa, it's working. Let's quickly change the to another voltage with this adjustable potentiometer let's say 12.9 volts okay measuring 13.1 let's 13 12 12.3 12.5 okay as i said here we have a on off switch turning off turning on all right the switch is working this is my USB doctor tester we're gonna see on that how many amperes is pulling this module right now without nothing plug in it pulls around 10 milliamperes okay here is uh, this one is 9 volt LED bulb. I'm gonna 
try to plug in. Okay, the 3 watt LED bulb that works on 9 volt is connected. Now we are at 4.4 volts, nothing happen happening. Increasing, increasing the voltage 6.77. Whoa! 7.9 and we have right here 9 volts and is delivering or is pulling 130 milliampers 3 watt LED bulb working without problem okay in specification it says when the input is from 2 volts to 20 volts the output power is 3 watts input 20 volts to 24 volts output power within 2.5 watts I don't get it what does it mean okay I'm gonna make one more test using my DC gear motor right here we have positive just to down the voltage to let's say to 3 volts 2.6 alright and it's working Pulling 120 milliampers, 120 milliampers at 2.6 volts. Let's increase 3.7 volts, 150 milliampers, 5 volts, 230 milliampers. almost 500 milliampers that means that means 8 volts times 0 0.5 amperes it's around 4 watts it's pulling 4 watts and it's delivering okay here I have 70 LEDs turning on and I'm gonna increase the voltage to 3 volts 2.6, 2.7, 2.9, 3 volts, 3 volts, super bright. It's pulling 550 milliampers, 3 times by 500 milliampers, that is around 1.5, 1.6 watts of energy. Alright, turning off, turning on. As I said, you can power up this module with the USB connector or the micro USB connector right here and you can use your, let's say, smartphone power adapter to get work this. Okay, that was all for today's video presentation. Please give a like, share and subscribe to my channel. See ya! 2 watts, maybe 3.